In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can deposit on KuCoin. There are two methods to do this. The first is depositing straight from your bank account or card directly onto KuCoin. And the second is using cryptocurrency from another exchange and depositing that onto KuCoin as well. In this video, I will be covering both of these methods and showing you everything that you need to know on how to deposit onto KuCoin. If you have not yet signed up to KuCoin, I will leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and claim 20% off all of your trading fees. Alternatively, if you want me to walk you through the entire process, show you how to create your account, secure your account and everything that you need to know, I will also leave a link in the description to the video that I created, walking you through all of that step by step. Okay, so we are now on KuCoin and as I said, there are two ways of actually going about depositing funds. So the first way is you actually go ahead and deposit it straight from a bank or credit card. And to do this, all we need to do is go up to buy crypto in this top right corner. And then you can see a few of these different options. We have fast trade, P2P, third party and fiat deposit. Now I would recommend using any of these apart from the P2P. So going into this first option right here, which is fast trade, this is probably the easiest and the most effective way to deposit straight from your bank account into the KuCoin exchange. So all we need to do is make sure this is on buy. Then where it says I want to spend, we can choose from any of these currencies. And there's pretty much every single currency in the world. All you would need to do is in this search bar right here, search for your currency. So we can search for like USD, Euro, Great British Pounds, and then select the currency that you want to choose. And then under I will receive, you can then go ahead and choose the coin that you want to get. What I will say about this menu is the selection of crypto that you can buy straight from this instant buy is very, very limited. They have about 10 to 15 coins here that you can buy directly from this menu, but they have a lot more in the actual exchange. So you can go ahead and choose any of these coins right here to just buy them straight up. Or alternatively, if you want to buy a coin that you don't see here, what I would recommend is buying the USDT token, which is the US dollar stablecoin. Just go ahead and purchase this, and then you can actually convert that USDT into different coins on the exchange where they have a lot more options. So in here, all you would do is say, I want to spend £100. It's going to show you how much of whatever coin you chose you will receive. So as you can see, I spend £100 and I receive 117 USDT. You can also choose how you pay. So we can go here, we can choose to either add a debit or credit card, or we can also go for Revolut, Bank, and a few different options right here. So that is the fast trade menu. We also have this third party option for if you want to use Apple Pay, if you want to use bank transfer or anything like that. And once again, it's very, very similar. All you would do is enter in the currency that you want to buy with. So for example, I will just go for USDT here. And then once again, you choose from your coins. Now with this menu specifically, you can see that we have options for a lot more coins than we did on the fast trade menu. But once again, if you don't see the coin that you want to buy, you can just buy USDT and convert it later on in KuCoin. But as I said, this gives you a lot more options. So let's say that we want to buy Atom. We would just select this. Once again, enter in how much we want to buy and then select the payment method. Now this is also very important. If you look at the payment channel, you can see the difference between if I go with Simplex, I will get 14 Atom, or if I go with Banksup, I will get 13.8. So I would personally always go with the best offer that they give to maximize how much you can buy with your money. Coming over, we also have the Fiat Deposit button, which is pretty similar. Once again, we just select how we want to pay. I will go for USD. And then you can go ahead and select the payment method for if you want to wire transfer. The payment details are right here. So all you would do is enter this into your bank app and then you can go ahead and just transfer the funds to your account on KuCoin. And the reason they know to deposit it into your account is because of this deposit reference. So make sure to use this and that's how they know which KuCoin account to give the funds to. So that is pretty easy. That is pretty simple right there. The only thing that I would say about the fiat deposit menu is these fees are pretty ridiculous especially if you're depositing like 100, 200, even $300 into your account, then this is quite a high fee. However, if you're trading with a larger amount of volume, if you're trading with $1,000, $10,000 or $100,000,
then this 30 USD fee is always going to stay the same. So that is how you can actually deposit on KuCoin straight out of your bank account or card. The second thing that I want to cover is how you can move coins from other exchanges onto KuCoin. So to do this, all we need to do is once again, go back to the main menu of KuCoin. And then from here, go up to assets at the top. You can see the overview bar right here. So we can simply click into this. And then as you can see, once we are here, we have a few buttons for deposit, buy and withdraw. We want to go ahead and click on deposit. And then it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to take you straight over to like deposit fiat, or it's going to give you the option for, do you want to deposit fiat or deposit crypto? Obviously you want to click on deposit crypto, but if it takes you over to this screen where it says deposit fiat, just like it has for me, all we need to do is click on this deposit crypto button. It's then going to take us over to the screen where it says deposit crypto, and we can choose from any of these coins right here. So this is going to give you most of the coins that are available on KuCoin. And to actually transfer funds across, I personally prefer using Litecoin. So if I just go ahead and type this in, you can see, you can select the coin. So enter the name of the coin, select it right there. Now, as I say, I prefer using Litecoin to transfer funds across because the transaction times are quick and the transaction fees are very low. So I'm just going to go for Litecoin here. Then you can go ahead and select the network. So once again, I'm just going to choose Litecoin. And right here, it might take a few seconds to load, but it's going to come up with your address. So all we have to do is click on copy. Now I would definitely recommend clicking this copy button rather than typing this all out as you have a much higher chance of getting it wrong if you do that. So I'm just going to use Binance in this example to go ahead and transfer my Litecoin across. So I'm just going to go into my wallet right here, go to Litecoin and from here, I'm just going to go ahead and withdraw this. Now in here where it says send to, this is where I'm going to go ahead and grab my deposit address and simply paste it into here. Now, just to make sure this is right, what I like to do is just grab the first two and the last two letters. So that's MB and WB, MB and WB. Okay, that matches up, so this is right. Then all we have to do is select the network. It automatically matches to the corresponding network. And then all I'm going to do is just send max. I think there's like $30 worth in here. But um, what I would recommend is just depositing a small amount first. So for example, if you want to do a $1,000 transaction, just send 10, 20, $30 and see if it comes through and then you can transfer the rest. So all I'm going to do here is click on withdraw. It then gives you this pop-up. So we just click on continue. And then it's usually going to give you these security verifications. So I'm just going to go ahead and verify the authenticator app and my email right here. And then as you can see, as soon as that is done, the withdrawal with Crest is submitted. Now this can take some time to come through. Usually with Litecoin, you're waiting between 15 to 20 minutes and that changes depending on your coin. So you now just have to sit and kind of wait for the coin to come through. However, in the meantime, if you just kind of want to check on this, if you go back to the exchange that you withdrew from, you should be able to see at the bottom right here that this is like processing, has three confirmations to go through. So as I said, I will be back once my crypto has arrived. So at this point, it has probably been about 20 minutes and I literally just received my Litecoin. I got a little notification in this top corner saying your Litecoin has been received. So if I now go over to my wallet right here, as you can see, my Litecoin is right here. I did lose about 25 cents in terms of like transaction fees and getting everything sorted, but my Litecoin is now here and I have now deposited it. So that is how you can deposit cryptocurrency on KuCoin. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.